here we are on the trail down to North Beach. So we're gonna walk down here and look at this place. Welcome back to the channel. We're here at Deception Pass State Park today. We're up here on the highway by the bridge. We're gonna do a brief look at all there is to look at at Deception Pass State Park. Thanks for watching. Deception Pass Bridge. Now, if you're coming down here, you see these double yellow lines. Don't try to cross. Don't stop traffic and try to cross to get to the other side. got a big motor home with mirrors that stick out be careful and if you're walking across the bridge be careful that you don't get whacked by somebody's mirrors so it's actually two bridges there's a little island here double yellow line to get to park over here on the island. Drive across the bridge, turn around, come back, and you can pull in there. So you can see this is the part where most people walk out on. And it's a long way down. Years ago, this right turn here was where the park entrance used to be. Then they moved it. There is an RV park down here, a private RV park. There's the park headquarters. Now, the Deception Pass State Park also manages all the, well, I don't I should say all of them. I should say a lot of the state park islands out in San Juan, so they go out there and tend to them. So we're going to turn in here. And this is the entrance to the park, and I'm going to put this down here in a second because I got to through the ranger station. That over there is all day use area. Apparently West Beach is closed because of storms last winter. I don't even know if we can drive down to it. That down there is Cranberry Lake. Campgrounds are 
up in the woods here. Come on up. There's a dump station. So. Campgrounds. Campers only. Swim beach. No day use parking. Yeah, West Beach is closed. We're gonna go up here to North Beach. So here we are on the trail down to North Beach. It's not a bad trail, it's not very long either. We have a picnic shelter down here. There's Big Fur. Here's the bridge. Gotta scramble over the logs. that slot is Bowman Bay. And here's the bridge. This, this pass can get upwards to eight knots. So, if you're going through there on a boat, you need to go at slack tide unless you got a powerful boat like they do. Okay, can you see up there? That's the trail from the parking lot that is over there. It goes up there and goes up to the bridge. Just over there. And this gives you an idea how steep this little trail is but it's not f it's not far to the parking lot there's a big old eater tree I believe cedar definitely. Western red cedar. There is Crabbery Lake. We're driving, driving down this road. It's supposedly closed. We're going to see how close we can get to West Beach. get out there and show the damage from last winter. So 
there's the end of the road. This is where concessions are. And campground. Ten minute parking only. Well, we'll take a quick tour through the campground. These ones have some sun. They're walking. Say the campground's full, but there seems to be a lot of empty ones on a Saturday at noon, so they must be filling up tonight. There must be the potty house over there. There must be where you can have RVs. Well, there's a trailer in this one. Oh, it's the host. It's a nice campground. But it is dry camping if you got an RV. These spots here have a peekaboo view of the water out there. That'll be a nice one. campsites in here. Okay, well, I had to go back along this road. Place to park there. So we can walk down to West Beach. So, again, Cranberry Lake. Fresh water. I think people like to fish on there. So normally you can walk, I mean you can drive out past this gate, which right here is the entrance to the campground to the right. Come on. So normally, you 
can drive on out to West Beach, but they've got it closed. And they have, they, they would have concession stand out there. But now they put everything here. At the entrance to the campground. So, we'll walk out there. See if we get harassed by the park person. Alright, I'll bring you back when we're closer. Okay, we're getting close. There's the building at West Beach. And this is on the lake. They have, I guess they have swimming in the freshwater. So we gotta walk a little bit more out here. And then we'll be out there. Okay, here it is. Now, supposedly there's some serious damage out here from the storm, which must be this right in front of us. Because I think the parking lot needs to be bigger. So, sometime last winter they had a storm here that came up and washed all this up here onto the parking lot. Oh yeah. But, you know, I don't know what the big deal is, why, well, that's torn up over there, but, yeah, and the edge is torn up here. Yeah, it's pretty torn up. Parking lot used to go out here for a bit. You can see the asphalt down here. Oh, and you can see the line where it used to come. But I can't imagine what kind of permits they got to probably get to just remove these logs. Push the logs back out. Anyway, this is West Beach. You can see the Naval Air Station down there. That's Woodby Island. Well, we're on the north end of Woodby Island. Way off in the far distance is Lopez and the southern tip of San Juan Island and then beyond that would be Vancouver Island and Victoria over there. And straight out from here is the Strait of Juan de Fuca, which this area gets a lot of wind and wave because it's not very sheltered due to the Straits of Juan de Fuca. And you can see the Olympic Mountains back there. And there's a barge off in the distance. And if you make out right in front of us, right, right, like there, is Smith Island, which is, I think, nothing more than a weather station. So, yeah, West Beach. These are this place is packed. I don't know why they can't just open it and let use the parking that they do have but you know it is a state after all no comment <laughs> So this structure down here I think was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps back during the 30s and 40s. So we'll go over here and look at this map. So here we are. You can see where it says Bowman Bay. And that dock right there, it's Rosario. <laughs> this 
this trail here goes over to Bowman's Bay. We might just walk over there. So we'll go down here. There's actually two beaches here. One inside the cove and one on facing west. Got a little wind blowing today. So out over there, around that corner is Deception Pass. This back in here is Bowman's Bay. Dock down there. If you see way off in the distance, that's Woodby Island Naval Air Station. nice dock you come in here and moor on. Oh, there, you can see Bowman's Bay over there. Looks like there's, are those mooring balls they have out here now? I'm not sure. But I know they have mooring balls over in Bowman's Bay on the left side of the bay. And there's a dock over there that you can tie up to that's not connected to the shore. You see that boat over there connected to it. This you can come in here and tie up overnight, but it's not very deep here. So only shallow draft boats can come in here. All right. Come on. Get the dog with me today. I've got some footage that edit in that's down here in sunset that's that's really nice so here's the beach and out over there is Strait of Juan of Yucca south end of Lopez This beach is pretty cool because it's got nice flat rocks on it that you can use for skipping stones. trail that goes up around this rock outcropping. Okay, we're gonna go up this trail. There's a couple different trails up here.
Well, this trail doesn't go any further. We can scamper up the hillside, but we're not going to do that. Try this. Now we have stairs. Bit of a climb. Now we're up on top. get a good shot of straight to Juan Fuca Olympic Mountains over there out that way would be Port Angeles there on that side that go out to part of this these bluffs over here across from us disclaimer do your own research shelters just like over at Rosario Beach you can rent and this here used to be a little museum for the Civilian Conservation Corps well there's another picnic shelter over there campgrounds up over that way open today. Probably can't go eat with the dog. Okay, well, if you come to Bowman's Bay, check it out. So 
we were down here the other day trying to get video footage. Beautiful warm day. And it was Washington State Parks free day where you didn't have to have a pass. Park. And it was crazy packed and we couldn't get a place to park. It used to be mooring balls out here in this bay. Maybe they moved them over to Rosario. It used to be right out here. There's a shot of that dock over there you can tie your boat to. And then this pier. You used to be able to go out on the pier, but the ramp leading to it is gone. But this is a nice little crescent-shaped beach. It's a lot quieter here today. So this beach and the beach over there around that bend is part of Deception Pass State Park like I said and it is the only part that is on the north side of Deception Pass which is through there around the corner and um, the rest of it is all on Woodby Island they do have one campground which is up over here on the other side of that piggy shelter but here they have a boat ramp that looks like it's seen better days so mostly it's used for launching kayaks and such and you can uh, you can walk around the corner over there and see exception pass And then there's trails that go up on that rock hill over there. I think. It used to be. So, yeah, this is Bowman's Bay. Bathrooms for the campground in this part of the park. So, here's the sign. I don't have a detailed map of the campground. We're in Bowman's Bay right here. There's Crescent Beach. You can walk through there and you can see Deception Pass. So this is a small campground. And the, it's just a single loop. It goes back there. And they're pretty small campsites. You can't get big rigs in here. So here's an example of what they're like. Pretty nice. So that's the Bowman Bay campground can't post on duty right here okay we're at Pass Lake which is a fishing lake you can see it on the map here if you're coming south on highway 20 you see Pass Lake there it's a fly fishing only lake a nice little lake. There's the highway over there.
driving east and this over here is Cornet Bay. Part of this is considered part of the state park. here past all this stuff is there's a sign but down here is the boat launch the main deception pass boat launch see it is busy today. So they used to have floating dogs. they just have docks to tie up to out there. And that down there are some trails. Goes down around the point. But yeah. It's part of Deception Pass. State Park. That one up there is the parking for the boat ramp. restrooms well we're not registered guests but let's go down here and take a look see what the retreat center is like Building down there, beach. Let's go over here to look at the map again. Looks like cabins. Those must be cabins too. Okay, retreat center. Okay, we're in the quarry lake. He's got power and maybe even sewer. This nice campground. So, this actually used to be a private campground, one of those camping club campgrounds. And then he went out of business and the state bought this property and it stayed closed for a number of years until they decided to open it up. 
these over here more RV style and it, we're on the opposite side of Highway 20 on Cornet Bay Road from the main part of the park so keep that in mind if you're interested in coming and camping at this park over there. They've got a mix of sun sites and shade sites. Looks to me like there's a trail that goes back so you can through the trail you can go to the other side of the park on the other side of Highway 20. And there's the Quarry Lake. So I guess this used to be a quarry. Lots of nice camp spots in here. Now this is interesting because it's right here on the back side of gas station out on Highway 20 and that used to be the entrance to this park back when it was a private park and then we're back at the beginning okay so that'll just about do it for Deception Pass State Park I'd really appreciate a sub and a like and all the things that feed the algorithm. And any comments you might have, good, bad, or indifferent. So thanks for watching. Oh, and there's the RV park, private RV park. It's down here. It's been here for a long time. Thanks for watching. Well, here we are on the island between the two bridges. You can see down there through the beat, through the bridge, it's North Beach where we were. Coronet Bay is over there around the corner. I don't know if you can see it, but the current is really moving through there. And it looks like an ebbing tide, so the current's moving that way. So, you can park in that lot over there on the south side of the ridge walk along the railing go down underneath and come out up these stairs over here and then you're on this side but I just drove over here and parked let's go up here and we'll see what this plaque says